These are the eight Knipex tools that I regret buying. I love Knipex tools. It's my go-to plier brand, but over the years I have made some regrettable purchases and these eight tools really just sit around collecting dust now. But if I can save you guys any time and money, I will with the things that I do regret buying. And then at the end, I will tell you guys what I use instead, what really takes the place of each of these tools. So now let's go ahead and hop into it with our number one, and it is this knife here. This is actually my least favorite. That's why it's number one. I was fanboying hard over Knipex at the time, and I got it. This little sheet comes off here, and it's got a blade here. I think it was like 20-ish dollars. It was not worth it. The knife is super dull. The metal is not hard at all. I thought maybe it would be really great for stripping cable. And truthfully, I love the red and yellow. So I was like, maybe, you know, it can fit into my workflow. It doesn't. It's awful. If you've had a different experience with it, let me know. I know some of our UK electricians, you guys have to have insulated tools. Everything has to be insulated, which I would never, ever, ever in my life strip a live cable with this. There is a better way. I can guarantee you that. Any of these dismantling knives, the blades just aren't sharp. They they don't do the job. I, I was actually, this is the only tool that I was actually like disappointed with the quality of the tool from Knipex that I've ever had. The other ones just don't fit. This one, the quality of it is just extremely low. The handle is comfortable, as you would expect. It's the classic VDE version, which is the 1,000-volt rated uh, style. It's their classification for being insulated over there in Germany. This one here gets a big, fat thumbs down from me, though. I can't comprehend uh, what's going on here, but this is easily my number one because it's my least favorite tool. Number two are these cobalt cutters here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Cobalt cutters are awesome. Not this pair, okay? They might be awesome for you. They're spring-loaded, okay? They're flush. The top, the back side of them is completely flat, which is awesome. And I thought, man, that would be such a fantastic feature to have on my cobalt cutters. But these aren't the same strength or the same hardness as the other cobalt cutters. And I found that out the hard way by wasting like 65 ish dollars on this pair right here. I probably could have done a little bit more reading and figured out that these weren't for the application that I wanted to use them for, which is nails, screws, uh, hard metals. Okay. That's what I wanted to get a pair of these so I didn't have to ruin my diagonal cutters every time I wanted to cut chain or anything like that. Got these babies and I was so disappointed with them. And I was like, man, maybe they're not, they don't live up to the hype. And then I realized that these just aren't. They're not the same, okay? They don't cut nearly as well. They're not nearly as strong. It says piano wire on there, but you guys avoid this if you're trying to cut harder materials. Just trust me. At the end, I will tell you and leave a link to the good pair of the cobalt cutters because this pair, if you're trying to do some heavy duty work, they're not it, all right? I promise you, they are not. It was so sad and I wasted a significant amount of money to have something that worked very, very suboptimally. Number three, this one's also a little bit of a doozy. The diagonal cutters from Knipex. This is just an example pair. This is the eight inch angled pair with the comfort grip. The reason why I regret buying not just specifically this pair, but I have five pairs. To give you a little reference, there's three different things that can change for their diagonal cutters. There's the length, they have eight inch and 10 inch. There's the handle, they have the, the dipped, the comfort grip and the insulated handle, or they have the straight or angled heads. And so I didn't know what I wanted at the beginning and I, I ended up, I don't know how it happened, but I ended up with five different pairs of diagonal cutters from Knipex. I love their diagonal cutters. They're my favorite set of diagonal cutters that I own. I own several. I probably own diagonal cutters from five different brands. They're my favorite pair. However, this pair is not. They're not the pair that I use every day. And so really I use one pair every day and they are just, the rest are just sitting there collecting dust, having costed me money. I can't recommend getting Knipex diagonal cutters enough. However, make sure that you take a look at those and make sure you know which pair you want so you don't guess and then end up being like, well, what if I want the 10 inch insulated set? And then you have two or three other sets. Uh, that's just, it is what it is. That's what you get when you rush into a buying decision and don't educate yourself. You end up either wasting your money on more than one tool or you waste your money on the tool on an expensive tool 
that works really well, but it wasn't exactly what you wanted or what you needed. And that's exactly what this purchase here was, is a mistake. Going on to number four are these Knipex Strix. They look great on paper. They, I mean, I know people love them too. This is probably one that I would say is more so of a me thing. I just can't find a constant use for them. I use them very, very infrequently when I have short wires, but they were also an expensive set of wire strippers that, to be honest with you, they don't get used very often. Now, if you look at the end here, you can see it opens up and it closes around the wire and you twist and pull off. There's a set screw. I know a lot of people don't use the set screw. There's a set of cutters here as well. So that part of it's great that it can really strip a lot of sizes of cables. And instead of pulling away like this, you can pull away like this. It leaves you with a lot less surface area, especially if you're doing live cables or something like that and you're working in a hot panel. It just leaves for less room for air. However, I can't remember the last time that I actually used these things. It's cool on paper. It looks great. I know other countries use very, very different styles of wire strippers. I have many of those wire strippers, including this set here. However, it's just not the pair that I pick up every single day, especially when I'm trying to work quickly or trying to be efficient. This set right here, I actually have two of these. I have this set and I have the insulated set as well. And uh, they just don't get used ever. Number five is this set of needle nose combination pliers. This is a six inch pair, I believe. Uh, they are nice, they're incredibly, like I said, high quality. Everything on this list is actually super great quality except for the knife. Um, but this set, I just can't find a use for them. I don't know how I ended up with them. Uh, they would maybe be a great everyday carry type of plier if it didn't have this huge VDE handle on it. But I just, I feel like there's better pliers for the usage of it. I'm, I don't actually have a replacement for these, so I'm, I'll give you guys that little tidbit here. But I feel like there's nothing that I can't do with a set of strippers uh, or needle nose or it, literally anything. My, my linemen's, I always have my linemen's on me. I always have a set of strippers on me. And so those two things kind of, you know, have a lot better functionality for what you would do with this. The head is a lot thicker here at the end than a lot of those. They are six inches, so you have a lot more control over like having an eight inch plier. I just can't find a good use for these where they actually are efficient and they actually help my workflow. They're great, they're super high quality. Knipex pliers are amazing. The handles are so comfortable. VDE cut handles are by far my favorite set of handles. They're incredibly ergonomic. Obviously they're safe. I love insulated pliers, but this set here just didn't do it for me. It really has no use in my workflow. So if you do something other than electrical work, maybe you actually have a use for those types of pliers. However, I don't. All right, now these next three are all gonna be Cobra related, okay? Disclaimer, I love Cobra pliers and I'll tell you all about that here in just a second. But these are the alligators. These are the seven and a half inch alligators. I do love this size of plier. I do love their dipped handles here. They are probably my favorite type of dipped handle is on the Cobras. It's what I prefer. However, the alligator style of plier, uh, it just, it, it's not my favorite. I don't dislike this more than I like the tongue and groove pliers that we traditionally use here in America. However, uh, there's just a lot better options, especially for Knipex that you can use. This size of plier is amazing, especially for everyday carry. As far as the system in which they come in, there's the Cobra and there's the Alligator. Alligator has this uh, tongue and groove system that you have to move it up and clamp it down and it can just slide a little bit, just like any tongue and groove plier can. Again, incredibly high quality. They have all the great things that the Cobras come with, as in the grip, the head size, um, they have these directional teeth that grip onto stuff extremely well, which is extremely useful. I would choose the Cobras all day over the alligator pliers for sure. Number seven spot also related to the Cobras. I have these 10 inch pair of alligator pump, water pump pliers or alligator pliers, but they have this VDE handle. Now I got these in a set, right? And I actually did ended up saving some money but I would have never bought these either way. And after getting them, I was like, maybe I'll use them sometime. I never use these. Again, unless you're in the UK and you have to have insulated stuff for all your stuff, 
It doesn't make sense to have bulky handles on a set of pliers like this. The comfort grip is also a little bit too large for me. However, the dipped handles are just so smooth. They're so much smaller and allows for a lot more maneuverability. These are comfortable. Yeah, they are, but it's so overkill. I just can't comprehend why if you didn't have that regulation that you were required to keep this type of insulated handle that you would. I would steer away from the insulated or the comfort grip handles if I were you, at least for the water pump style of plier. And then lastly, you guys, this one's a little bit controversial, but they're large pliers. Now, these things are absolute monsters. They work incredibly well. They are also incredibly expensive. Now, if you know me and you know this channel, expensive isn't bad. We like expensive, you get what you pay for. And I'm telling you that you do get what you pay for with these. However, they're just a lot different than the smaller Cobras. Now these are a lot heavier than those smaller Cobras, obviously, but even for the size wise, one of the things that I love about the Cobras is how thin they are. You can see it on this set here. They are so much smaller and thinner and lighter, which is great. And when it comes to the big pliers like this, I, I've heard a lot of mixed opinions. I know a lot of people love these, okay? So don't shy away from them. If you really want them in your bank account, says yes. It's not the worst decision that you've made in the world. I can promise you that. But especially starting out, there are just a lot better, more affordable options for running conduit, large conduit that aren't so cumbersome, that are a little bit lighter and much, much, much more affordable. Uh, these were, I believe, way over $100, maybe like $130, $120, somewhere in that boat. And it's hard to find them on sale. So I promised I would give you guys all the tools in comparison that I really use instead. And so we'll start off with the knife. The knife that I prefer to have, and I did do a video on this, and I'll tag it at the end, because I actually went through and tested a bunch of knives. But this knife here from Fiskars, this is my knife that I love. I use every day. It flips out. It's got a changeable blade. It's also got a really large handle and it's all metal except for this orange. This orange is a rubber and that leads it to be so much more ergonomic than most utility knives. I think that's where a lot of utility knives kind of bite the bullet at is with ergonomics. Fiskars, this knife here, they crushed it. It is absolutely amazing. It's got a super smooth action, so I don't have to have the blade available all the time, so I can hang it on something and don't have to worry about cutting stuff up. I can put it in my bag. I don't have to worry about all that. The blade change is incredibly easy. Um, there's a lot of good things about this, and like I said, I will leave a link to that video at the end so you guys can watch it if you're looking for a utility knife that is like so much better than any other utility knife. I would definitely go for the Fiskars over something like this every single day of the week. Now for the angled bolt cutters, cobalt cutters, there's no replacement to these cobalt cutters here. Uh, this is not the angled pair. This is the pair that is an absolute monster and it'll cut anything and everything. This thing doesn't fail to cut the largest uh, largest bolts and, and screws and everything that you wanted to cut Okay, this thing is phenomenal. And like I said, it's really hard to tell the difference, um, but I will leave a link to both of these in the description so you guys can actually make sure if you're looking at getting a pair of these that you get the right set. So you don't have two sets and you don't have to waste all of that money uh, for absolutely no reason at all. Now, as far as these diagonal cutters go, you guys, I really do suggest you go with Kinebex diagonal cutters. My favorite set is the 10 inch insulated set. They don't have these with an angled head. However, it is just by far my favorite set of diagonal cutters. The 10 inch gives you a lot more leverage. The insulated handles, first of all, they look cool. I was just gonna get that out there. They're also way more ergonomic, they're safer. If you can have insulated tools for the exact same price that you can have regular tools in your electrician, why wouldn't you do it? And honestly, even if you aren't, there is a lot more comfort in these handles than there is in any other of the regular handles, okay? I really, really enjoy the 10 inch pair, but you guys look into it, look to see what diagonal cutters you want the most because truthfully, they're all great and it really just depends on what you like and what fits in your workflow. If you like the eight inch pair, you can get the eight inch regular comfort grip. You can get the eight inch with the VDE handles with the angled head or the straight head, whatever you want. Just make sure you know and that way you get 
what you want instead of buying to find out because that was dumb on my part. So that's what I get. Now for these strippers here, this one is uh, pretty significantly different, but I like the eight inch forged wire strippers from Knipex. These are phenomenal. Uh, they're a great set of pliers here and they work really well. They are my favorite set of wire strippers by far. I do love these and I've done a bunch of videos on these if you want a ton of more detail on them, but they're spring loaded. This is the catch over here that secures it. It strips really well. The only downside is I wish this head was a little bit thinner, but a lot of people like that. They like to have the lineman style ahead so they can twist wires. And I really wish it went down one more wire size so I could do 10 stranded and eight solid, mostly for the 10 stranded part because that is something that I use often, not every day, but often. So this is definitely the set that I would get if you're looking for a set of wire strippers at all, especially if you're looking for a set of Knipex wire strippers. Now, number five, I kind of already went over these, so I'm not going to cover this extensively, but I believe they're just other better options for this set of pliers here with your linemen's or your wire strippers to just have some better functionality than these here for my situation. And then the last three are all about Cobras. This is my favorite, favorite set of water pump pliers here. This is the 10 inch pair of Cobras. It's got the push button. So everything, it just locks into place. It's super easy. You can see all those teeth in there. They're all different settings. So you can get it dialed in. And they've also got this cool heads shape here, which allows for a lot better grip on your pipe. It will not slip. It's insane how much it won't slip. This set right here has been amazing. I've had this set for years now and it's lasted me. The teeth still look great on it. So when we look at replacing these seven and a half inch pair, that I would definitely just go with the Cobra version of these. When we look at the 10 inch pair of alligator pliers here, like I said, going with the Cobra style instead and also going with the dipped handle instead of this VDE handle because of the versatility that you have. You guys can see just how the thickness difference in that handle, you guys, that is significant when you're trying to work with your hands overhead, when you're trying to keep a hold of a pipe, when you're trying to keep a hold of of anything. It's just it's just easier to maneuver and to use. And then for this big boy here, I don't really have a replacement that I would suggest. There's just a lot better affordable options, the channel lock version, or there's a set from Harbor Freight that people rave about all the time. Either way, they're a lot more affordable. They are a little bit lighter and smaller. Out of all of the pliers, these definitely get the most use out of all of the pliers on this list. They, they get a ton of use actually every time that we run large pipe. Now, if you guys do want to see the video I did comparing every utility knife that's worth something, you guys head up to this video. Or if you guys want to see my everyday loadout, head up to this video here. But remember, you guys, it's all for his glory. And I will see you guys on the next one.